Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be showing you this really cool alcohol ink trick. And I'm going to be recording this video a little differently. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments after you've watched the video. Do you like me filming it like this new way or do you want me to keep filming it like I always have been? Just an experimental thing going on, I just want to see. So I'm running a cup swap in my Patreon right now and I, there's an even number so I don't need to jump in, but I am creating a tumbler just in case something happens and somebody is not going to get to receive their tumbler so I can have one ready to just ship out. But if all goes well and everybody gets their tumblers, then this is just going to be an extra one that I will give to somebody in my Patreon group. So here we go. So I'm starting off with some pinata alcohol inks. I got both of these packs from the Glitter Grind. Now I have taken some collars out and put them back in so I cannot promise you that the collars in each pack are correct. And I'm also using a 20 ounce skinny straight. This is from Courtney's Customs Blanks and I base painted it ultra matte black from Rust-Oleum. So now I'm adding a coat of epoxy over my tumbler and guys I am so sorry I can't tell you exactly how much epoxy I used here. I know it's a pretty thick coat because I'm messy with my epoxy. That's just who I am as a person. Um, but I work on multiple tumblers at once, so I mix up quite a bit. I, I don't know exactly how much I used here, y'all. I'm so sorry. Now I'm just going over the epoxy with my heat gun. I got this heat gun from Hippie Crafter, and I'm just trying to make sure that all of the bubbles are popped, and I'm warming up the epoxy quite a bit, so that's going to help the alcohol inks flow more freely around the tumbler. So now it's time to go in with all of the alcohol inks, and I know you absolutely cannot see these colors show up on the tumbler. You're probably thinking, what the heck are you doing? But I promise you will see them soon, and... I'm going to put the exact names to the alcohol inks down in the description, but from top to bottom, I just did orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink, and I am just putting about a couple inches of each collar all the way down the tumbler. I'm not really trying to ombre the collars because I can't see what I'm doing, <laughs> but a couple inches of each collar all the way down. Now that all of my collars are on the tumbler, I'm coming in with the white alcohol ink. That's also a part of that pinata alcohol ink pack. And I accidentally left the lid off of the alcohol ink overnight. And I think something must have dried up around the top and I got a little clogged. So I stepped away to uh, kind of poke a hole and get that fixed. But what I'm doing here is just going over the entire tumbler with the white alcohol ink and I get super impatient because again that's who I am as a person and I yep there it went I just start squeezing like crazy and I am just trying to cover the entire tumbler with that white alcohol ink as fast as I can because I'm so impatient at such a bad quality of mine but it looks a little washed out from all the white alcohol ink now but the longer it sits, you guys will be able to see those colors really brighten up and become super vibrant all around the tumbler. Now I'm just giving it another quick hit with my heat gun and that is just me trying to get the colors to blend a little better. Like I said, not so much ombre. It's really hard to get a perfect ombre with alcohol inks. Um, at least it is for me anyway, but I'm just trying to get it to blend and look a little better all around the tumbler. And this is what I'm left with. So I'm going to let this spin and come back tomorrow to show you all the next step. So it's the next day and look how bright and vibrant those colors look now, but it does feel a little ripply and there's some rough spots here and there because there is just so much alcohol ink on the tumbler. So I'm going to go through with my 80 grit sanding block and just sand it down really good and then I'll take a paper towel and clean it up before I add another coat of epoxy because if I try to put a decal on right now, it's just not going to look good. It needs at least one more coat of epoxy to get perfectly smooth so everything can look right. Thank you. 
I also decided before I add another coat of epoxy, I'm going to sign the bottom of it. So I'm using a silver Arteza marker. And I don't have a super cool signature like everybody else does, so I don't normally sign the bottom of my tumblers. Um, I literally am just printing Courtney's Customs with a little heart. But I thought that would be cute to just sign the bottom of this one before I go in with some more epoxy. So after another coat of epoxy, it is perfectly smooth now. It's time to add the decal. And y'all, I am so sorry. I didn't realize I wasn't recording when I was weeding this out. But it says, when it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. And I'm doing an offset. And the best part about this decal is I am using Courtney's Customs Vinyl. I'm so excited I'm finally using this vinyl in a tutorial and it's hot pink and white. You can find it on my website and I am restocking some more um, of the basic colors and I here in just a few days I'm also getting some of the more like holographics and a couple different patterns and oh my gosh I am just so excited. Also, I got this decal from Creative Fabrica, and uh, they are running a promo right now, so I'm going to put a link down in my description. Y'all can get your first month for a dollar, and then every month after that is $19 a month, and it's unlimited downloads to different SVGs and fonts and backgrounds and all the amazing things they have to offer. Also, the entire month of February, they are releasing a free SVG bundle every single day of the month. So I don't want you guys to miss out on that. Make sure you click the link down in my description and check that out. Also, why am I the way that I am? I swear to y'all, I have a whole big roll of brand spanking new transfer tape, but I use old ones every single time and I miss some pieces, so I'm just adding those back on. So now the entire decal is on, so it says when it's dark, look for stars. So I have the rainbow part on there, obviously, but I want to add some stars. So I'm taking my white apple barrel acrylic paint, and that's what I'm going to use to create some stars. I'm going to pick out my little weeding pick or not weeding pick I'm sorry my rhinestone pick and I'm taking this part here and dipping it down in the paint and I'm just dotting on some stars um, spreading it out all over the tumbler until I'm satisfied <music> Now it's time to add the finishing coats of epoxy and I'll come back to show y'all when it's finished. So here she is under some epoxy and I think this turned out so good. It was really, really cool to see overnight coming back in how much this like brightened up and got so much more vibrant with time. So I think this is so cute. I absolutely love it. So this will either go to somebody in the cup swap or just a random person in my patreon group but regardless this is going to somebody in my patreon group so if you want to join i of course will have my link down in the description and let me know what you guys thought of how i filmed this let me know like if you want me to continue filming videos like this with the voiceovers if you would rather me do it like i've always done it so i just wanted to try something different so you guys let me know before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, the only limits you have are the limits you believe. That was said by Wayne Dyer. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know again how you think about the way I filmed this, and like always, if y'all have any questions at all, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!